Hey guys, in today's video, I will be reviewing the top 8 best 3D printers in 2025. I made this list based on my personal experience and I try to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Bamboo Lab A1 Mini 3D Printer. If you want to squeeze as much printing power into a small space and tight budget as possible then Bambi Labs A1 Mini checks all the boxes. It's a bed slinger style mini 3D printer with the option of adding a light AMAS automatic material system. It's the fastest bed slinger we've clocked so far and nearly as fast as Bamboo's larger core XY machines. Retailing at $299 for the printer and $459 with the AMS Lite, it packs more features than the competition for significantly less money. It has an intuitive color touch screen, quick change steel nozzles, and a blazing 10,000 mm slashed 2 acceleration speed for fast, clean prints. The A1 Mini can level the bed and set its own Z height with the touch of a button. The AMS for the A1 Mini spoils the compact footprint a bit as it has to be set next to the printer rather than on top. It makes up for the inconvenience by being superior to the full-sized AMS with sensors that detect tangles and a spindle for each spool that can accommodate filament with odd-sized or cardboard spools. Number 7 in my list is Creality K2 Plus Combo 3D Printer. 2025 is going to be the year of speedy color FDM 3D printers, and Creality's K2 Plus has nailed it. This printer has a cruising speed of 300 mm slash with a 30,000 mm slash 2 max acceleration rate and easily prints in four colors with its new Creality filament system. It can handle much larger prints than its rivals with a 350 mm cube build volume. It has a high flow nozzle that can heat up to 350 degrees and a heated, which means it can handle nearly any filament from PLA to PC. TPU must be run through a side port on a traditional spool holder, but no one has managed to make soft filaments run through all the tubing needed for a color-swapping 3D printer. Some would say Creality is merely cribbing off Bamboo Lab and their wildly successful X1 Carbon, but Creality has brought many improvements to color printing that we've yet to see from Upstart Bamboo. A bigger print volume, a heated chamber, and the ability to easily print offline with full open-source clipper. Creality remembers its roots as a scrappy DIY 3D printer for enthusiasts and remains faithful to the open source community. The machine retails for $1,499 as a four color combo, which may not fit everyone's budget. But the K2 Plus is easy to use right out of the box, so it's not limited to only experience makers or small business owners. Its flexibility, paired with quiet fans and carbon filtration system, makes it a worthwhile purchase for home or office. My only fault with the printer is one that's hard to avoid. The CFS wastes a bit more filament than the Bambu AMS due to its high flow hotend with a larger melt zone and lack of fine control in the custom slicer. It also needs to be properly warmed up as it uses a thick aluminum plate to ensure a flat print surface. Number six in my list is Original Prusa XL Assembled 5 Tool Head 3D Printer. The original Prusa XL takes 3D printing to another level, both in features and scale. This is one of the largest 3D printers that I have looked at and utilizes the latest CORE-XY mechanics that have been coupled with Prusa's latest innovations. This machine has been designed as a modular and can adapt and change as you and your business need, from a single filament machine to a multi-filament with four tool heads. However, where it differs from everything else is that it features a multi-tool changer head which cuts out the need for filaments to be loaded and unloaded during printing. Instead, the head quickly swaps automatically, dramatically cutting down print times when multifilament printing. In use, the XL impressed me from the outset with the speed of the changes, enabling the printing of prototype interaction in multiple different materials quickly. This machine is rarely out of action in the workshop and complements the smaller MK4, which is utilized for speed and single filament prints. In use, the design feels far more akin to professional workshop machinery than a desktop printer, making it an ideal option for all precision engineering. Number 5 in my list is Anycubic Cobra's 1 3D Printer. 
The Anycubic S1 is one of a new wave of 3D printers that is changing the industry and also redefining what I have come to expect from a standard 3D printer. Firstly, the technology and design have suddenly changed, with the old Cartesian bed slinger designs being sidelined for more advanced and ultimately better machines. Through my tests, I found the Anycubic S1, with its slightly smaller, fully enclosed design, made it easier to position and handle in the workshop. While the design might not be quite as elegant as some of the other Core XY 3D printers, when it comes to absolute accuracy, the S1 really stands out. At the test, it was the first 3D printer to score 30 30 in the print quality test, with everything from dimensional accuracy to bridging and overhangs all easily within its abilities. While the build area may be smaller than some, that didn't hold back the function of this superb 3D printer and is an ideal choice if you're looking for precision 3D printing excellence. Number four in my list is Creality K1C 3D printer. The Creality K1C has been around for a while now, and its high performance, reliability, and ability to handle specialized materials like carbon fiber filaments make it a great choice. The printer is one of the most robust 3D printers I have used due to the strength of the construction Coupled with the AI technology, it helps to ensure usability, especially in the hands of students. The K1C features a powerful cooling system that enables the fully enclosed design to print with common materials such as PLA and also helps to keep fingers out while printing and keeping fumes in. The direct drive clog-free extruder and unicorn tri-metal nozzle all help to ensure consistent and high-quality prints, even with abrasive materials. The fully enclosed design flexible PDI build plate, and hands-free auto-leveling system make setup and operation straightforward, which is exactly what you need in the classroom. Reliability is enhanced by the integrated AI camera that provides real-time print monitoring, time-lapse recording, and failure detection. Despite its many strengths, I have found that the K1C has a few minor drawbacks. The print quality can be slightly affected by the high speeds, and it lacks multi-filament support. For that feature, you'll need an upgrade to the Creality K2+. Plus. <sighs> Number three in my list is Anacubic Cobra 3 Combo 3D Printer. The Anacubic Cobra 3 Combo is an exceptional multi-filament 3D printer and is one of a new wave of affordable high-performance machines that I am seeing. While the design resembles a traditional bed slinger, the solid metal frame has been designed to reduce vibrations and enhance print quality. The addition of the Anycubic Ace Pro multi-filament box in the combo version of the printer that I looked at in the review enabled up to four filaments to be used at any one time, making it an ideal choice for beginners as well as those looking for a multi-filament upgrade on a budget. The Cobra 3, like previous Cobra machines, is easy to use from the outset with a straightforward setup process that took me less than 10 minutes to get ready to print. The large touchscreen monitor and updated interface are easy to navigate and offer a big improvement over previous Anycubic designs. As I'd expect, there's an automatic bed leveling system, auto filament runout, and a host of other advanced print features. Number two in my list is Creality Official Ender 3 V3 Southeast 3D Printer. The Creality Ender 3 V3 Southeast 3D Printer is another Cartesian printer that has benefited from the manufacturer's move to fast Core XY designs. All the advanced features of the previous generation of bed slingers, such as auto bed leveling, are now appearing on this cheap entry-level machine. There may be a few extras missing, such as the absence of a touchscreen, filament runout sensor, or camera, which might be a drawback for some. However, as this printer is from the Creality product line, there's always the option to accessorize it as your budget allows, with the filament runout sensor being a must. Overall, I found the Ender 3 V3 Southeast stands out for its exceptional value, ease of use, print quality, and reliability, making it the best budget 3D printer for those venturing into 3D printing or seeking a cost-effective yet competent machine. <laughs> Number one in my list is Bamboo Lab A1 Combo 3D Printer. Having tested all the latest mainstream 3D printers, I feel the one with the widest appeal has to be the Bamboo Lab A1. The fact that this open frame design is relatively small and will fit on a desktop instantly fits the needs of most prospective buyers that I talk to. Still, then it can also be packed away easily with the ANS Lite, making it a great choice over some of the larger, fully enclosed designs. 
when I looked through the feature set, I noticed that it also compares directly with more expensive models, especially when it comes to the speed and quality of the prints. It also utilizes the automatic material system light, ANS light, which enables up to four colors to be used within prints at any one time. The L1 essentially makes advanced 3D printing easy and packs in every feature that I've come to expect from mid to high end machines, such as a tool head acceleration speed of 10,000 mm slash, pressure advanced technology, and a direct drive extruder. That said, the technology is tried and tested, and the L1 is highly refined and, of course, has the standard auto bed leveling and filament runout sensors alongside wide material compatibility that makes this a highly versatile 3D printer. In my experience, while there are more advanced, larger multi-filament machines out there when it comes to refined reliability and print quality, the L1 is not only part of the family of printers that disrupted the 3D print industry, but also just a great choice for all user levels. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our awesome upcoming content. Check out the links in the description for the latest prices on all the products we covered. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll catch you in the next one.